Hello, my name is Carlos Martinez. I'm the amphibian biologist at the Philadelphia Zoo. We are right here at the Masan Forest. The Masan Forest is located near the city of Cuenca in Ecuador. This is in South America. This site is very special for us. It is very special for us because this is where we started our amphibian conservation program with the uh, endangered amphibians of this particular place. This place is part of Cajas National Park. Cajas National Park is a watershed protection area that uh, basically produces the, sea, uh, the water for the city of Cuenca. It's also an area with a high endemism of amphibians. As you can see, this part here in Masan Forest are at the foothills of Cajas National Park. It is a very lush Andean forest, which is uh, what you typically what you would expect at this elevation. This is about 3,000 meters, but unfortunately, the area around Masan has been heavily deforested, heavily degraded. This used to be a logging concession. Luckily, the city and the country of Ecuador are protecting this area. But even with that protection, the amphibians of this part have suffered a lot from habitat degradation, have suffered a lot from chytrid fungus, and also from the introduction of uh, animals like trout, the fish that was introduced in here as a source of protein to the locals. Uh, it's a very aggressive fish, is the North American trout, and it basically eats everything in, in, the, in the water, including frog eggs, tadpoles, and even frogs. Those reasons is mainly why the amphibians in here have uh, declined so much. And starting in 2008, we began our collaboration with Zoo Amaru, who's a local zoo from here, from Cuenca, to try to help save these amphibians. And this is the site where everything began, where we had a colony of the marsupial frog, a colony of the Andean rocket frog, and also a colony of the black Cajas harlequin toad, which we will see those areas, the, the, the areas where the frogs are, are being held, and we will also get a chance to see the frogs. This right here is the Masan River. The Masan River is the, collects most of the water from Cajas National Park, and the flows continues down to the city. So it is the main source of water for the city of Cuenca here in Ecuador. This is also the site where we have the frogs that are part of our conservation program that includes uh, animals that would use the river as the breeding site and that is the green Cajas harlequin toad or Atelopus exivus. This uh, type of forest in general is also habitat to many other amphibians and places, areas like these bromeliads in here, these epiphytes are good as breeding sites for some of these uh, frogs, specifically the rain frogs uh, that are abundant in this area and also it's as refugia for other frogs as the baby and uh, juvenile marsupial frogs. This area right here is perfect habitat for the green Cajas harlequin toad, Atelopus exigus. This flagging tape here was placed by us in 2009 by the team working in here, which is the Philadelphia Zoo and Zoo Amaru, because this area right here was one of the home range areas for a single male harlequin toad. They love this sixal plant, which is this uh, bushy herb you see right here. You can see the yellow canes with the inflorescence in here. They love this area. As you can see, there's a lot of sunlight coming in. So even though we're cold up in the mountain at 3000 meters, it stays warm because of the sunlight, but it also stays moist inside this uh, brushy area. And this is the perfect habitat for the harlequin toads. Unfortunately, we have not found a single frog, or single toad rather, at this site for the past two years. And that is very disturbing news for us. After about two hours of searching for the Atelopus exigus, the green Cajas harlequin toad, here at Masan Forest in Cuenca, Ecuador, we were not able to find the frog. And this is the problem. This is, again, perfect habitat for the frog. This is the Masan River. And the problem is that the area is very well preserved. It is a protected area. It has natural habitat. There's very little deforestation in this part. And yet we don't find any frogs. This river used to have a lot of trout. The fish was introduced to the river 
and that could have been a cause for the demise of the species. But we're not so sure why there's not uh, any green harlequin toads anymore. It's one of those enigmatic disappearances. And this is why it is important for us to work on the conservation of this species by in situ methods, but also by ex situ methods. Whenever we do find these frogs, we need to raise them in captivity and ensure that the species are still alive, even if it's in a laboratory, so that when we find out what's happening in the wild and when we fix those problems in the wild, it's not too late for the species. And then the captive population can be reintroduced to an area that's even better protected or an area that we do know now how to tackle the issues affecting the species. Here we are on the main trail of the Masan forest next to the Masan river where you can still have some of the big old trees that are used by the uh, parrots and the toucans up here and usually underneath those trees there are some rocky outcrops and also the sigsal plant which is this uh, herb in here that the Atelopus exigus, the green cajas harlequin toads, like to use. They also like to hide under those rocks. We've been unsuccessful in finding the toads today. And this site used to be a very pro uh, pro prolific site within these rocks in here. Uh, this, there seems to be an association between the Sixal, the rocks, the big trees, and also the proximity to the river. Harlequin toads breed in fast flowing rivers where they lay the eggs in the shallow parts and the tadpoles develop in fast flowing rivers like uh, like the Masan forest, the one in the Masan forest. But unfortunately we are, just don't see the frogs anymore. No particle toads today.